hey what up guys all right guys so uh that's pretty much it for the project um as you saw within the last video right before the end i inserted another clip showing you uh the behavior of the application so far so as you saw i registered a new user who goes by the name of sean uh, michaels and then i went to uh, the login screen after that and then i was able to log in using those very same credentials and i was able to go to the profile uh, activity and it displayed uh, all of the information uh, regarding uh, Sean Michaels. Now, I just wanted to close off with some remarks in regards to this whole thing. Now, um, I'm new to Android, so I wanted to take this opportunity to try and learn a little bit more um, about Android development. Um, in doing this project, um, I saw or learned quite a number of things, and there's a number of things that I know that if I were to build another project, um, uh, I know what things to avoid, um, whether it's the layouts, uh, whether it's the way we're handling certain things like um, um, registering and so forth, because there are certain best, best practices uh, to follow in terms of how to go about this, because, um, um, you know, um, since we're posting to a, a REST API, you know, it's, a, it's easy for a user to abuse or abuse these certain things so when we created that project the spring boot uh, backend um, we didn't really apply any sort of security on there so and therefore um you know there are, there are uh, quite a number of things that you still have to learn uh and, and in terms of how to go about uh building an effective uh building a proper application whether it involves an android app and a web application that connects to an api and so forth but yeah look i just wanted to take this opportunity to learn this and then also uh there's various things regarding how um how to use these objects like um this json object that we used to sign in a user um, obviously all we did here was just get the user information validate the user obviously and then get the information and then pass it through to an activity now obviously there's other ways of dealing with this because here we're not dealing with a web page where you have to connect to a server and it gives you like a session ID that you can use to log in. So uh, there's other things here that I didn't implement but in any case this was just a small project to just play around with it. Um, so yeah man look um, I'm trying to be a full stack developer. Um, I've been trying to get into Android it's just I never gave it some time but then now I'm trying to get into it so that I know how to build web applications and android app applications because i just want to be the complete package and so um i would say if you're doing or if you're going uh, on the same journey um try your best to play around with such projects um so that you get the hang of it um in regards to this i told you before um there are ways to do this without using a library like like volley um, you can do it with just the native objects that you get within Java but that one seemed a bit messy for me and so because of the way um, we get responses from whatever uh, and whether it's an API uh, server or whatever um, you know um, volume it just makes it easy to deal with um, trying to post or trying to get data from the database uh, from, a re from a remote server or trying to register a new user or n register new information um to that database and so forth so um volley for me because it has the json object that string request object and the json array uh, object it just makes it easy to deal with um uh, whatever responses you're getting from the server and then again um if i were to come back to the spring boot project that i set up um again with spring boot annotating your request uh, sorry your controllers with the at request um, mapping sorry request controller at request controller mapping it just makes it easy to work with uh, response entities and request bodies and so forth so uh, spring boot as well um, you know it's a nice uh, framework where you can uh, you know easily work with uh, or easily implement certain um, features for you to be able to post and get data from the app, uh, from the database so but yeah man like i said um, this was just a small project that i wanted to try out so hopefully you guys were able to learn something just like i did oh another thing is just to confirm uh, as you can see here uh, um, the first few users that i tried to register with it was incorrect as you saw within the previous video but um 
that user Sean Michaels as you can see because we rectified what data is being posted to the database within our params um, within our map object um, I'm now able to register correctly and I was able to log in using these credentials so but um, yeah man look uh, that's it for the video guys um, uh, for the project I mean um, again I hope you were able to learn just as much as I did and uh, Again, thanks for watching, thanks for the support, and uh, if you've liked what you've seen so far, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys within the next uh, project. Uh, cheers for now.